All right, guys, so day one of a pretty big project. I have a full size dresser, armor, nightstand, and a mirror. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. I started sanding, and the varnish came off so, so nicely. So, I am super excited. So I'm going to get started taking off the hardware, cleaning her off, and start sanding. So first step, I'm just going to clean. So I'm using the Dawn Soap and Water mixture with a wet rag, I'm going over everything, and then I get a clean bucket of water and just a new rag and go over it again. Um, sometimes I do have to wash it a couple times. This was a pretty clean piece, so I was pretty lucky. Um, but a lot of my vintage pieces, those ones I do have to clean multiple times, um, sometimes two to three times. My basic rule is just to clean it until the water's clear. So here I'm just separating all the hardware, um, one for the dresser, one for the armoire, one for the nightstand. Um, you kind of want to keep them separate just in case they're different sizes. And then I'm starting on the doors. Um, on all the doors they had like this little kind of seashell thing. I went ahead and took all of those off, sanded it down, and then used a little bit of wood filler where the holes um, or any notches were left over and then sanded those down once it dried. After I was done with the doors, then I started on the top of the nightstand, the dresser, and the armoire because I was going to do a stain. I wanted to completely strip the top of all of them. Once I was done sanding the tops completely, then I did a rough sanding on the rest of the dresser, the armor on the nightstand, and then also on all of the drawer tops. Once I was finished sanding, um, it's time to tape off the top so that I don't get any paint on it. Um, on this set, I went ahead and painted the bottom first and then stained the top last. Um, so I'm just using some regular blue painter's tape just to seal that off and make sure I don't have to do any double work. Um, once I was done with that, then I was starting to start setting up to paint. Um, so I just use regular moving boxes underneath just to make sure I don't get any paint on the floor. And then I also use the triangles underneath the heavier pieces just to raise them up a little bit. Alright, so now we're ready to paint. And I'm using the bare chalk paint in the color Trellis Gray. Um, it looks white going on and it has like a slight hint of gray when the light hits it. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, I just use bare just because it's accessible for me. It's at my local Home Depot store um, and it's pretty affordable. $19.99 is what I pay for it. And they have a wide variety range of colors. Um, I know there's other chalk brands out there like um, Dixie and Jolie. I don't have access to those. I would have to order them. So this is kind of just what I work with for now.
So with my chalk paint, I usually do about three coats if it's a lighter color, two if it's a darker color. So I did three coats total, and then I sanded in between each with like a 400 grit sandpaper. Um, here you can see me switching the tape, so I'm gonna get it prepared to stain the top. I'm just using the same tape, just flipping it upside down. So we're gonna start staining uh, again. I'm using the color ebony by bear. It's a water-based stain um, I do two coats total um, And then I gave it about an hour to dry in between each coat um, I'm in a really dry climate. So if you're in a more Moisture area, I would recommend letting it dry for maybe two to three hours um, Just to be safe in between coats <music> the top coat I'm using the Minwax Polycrylic and this is in a satin um, you can use also a matte color if you want to with this I wanted just a little bit of shine um, and I'm gonna do three coats total with this um, sometimes you may need to sand in between if it feels a little bit rough after it dries I usually let it dry for about an hour in between each coat and then kind of feel and see if it needs the sanding. If it does, use a 400 grit sandpaper, something super light. And then after I was done with the top coats, then I'm using the bare wax in the clear and doing it all over the bottom half of the armoire, the dresser, and the nightstand um, just for extra protection. For my hardware, I use the Rust-Oleum Canyon Black color. Um, and then I just made sure to wash my hardware first, let it dry, and then I did about two coats on the hardware total. she's all put together then I'm just doing a quick rough sanding um, you can do this around the corners and the edges just to kind of give it a little bit more of a rustic farmhouse look I don't do this to all my pieces but this one in particular I wanted to do it too <music> and there she is the finished product um, I had a lot of fun with this one this is actually a style that I personally like in my own home um, but it was it was so much fun to do um, this I did sell this piece on marketplace and I posted it on the day that I posted it it actually sold the same day so I was super excited about that um, if you guys ever have any questions again don't forget to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you and I really really appreciate your guys' support and watching my videos um, look out on Instagram and also TikTok for any kind of updates and I will see you in the next video.